Okay, so first of all, I have a formula here, and the formula will calculate the age someone would be if they had been born on this date here. So I am going to click in the formula bar and select the whole of this formula, and then Control C to copy, and then Escape to get out of that bar. Then I'll go to File and Options and then proofing, and then autocorrect options. Then in the replace box, I will type get age, and in the with box, I will use control V to paste in the formula that I just copied, and then I will add this. So now, whenever I type get age into Excel, it will replace it with this formula here, and OK, and OK again. And now I can type get age, and it will turn into this formula. At the moment, the cell reference is wrong. It's still looking in cell A1, but I can change that and enter. And now I have the result that I want. And this will work in any of my Excel spreadsheets, and it will also work in any other Microsoft Office applications. So if I go to Microsoft Word and type in get age, that will also turn into the formula. If you do this accidentally, then you can undo it. So I will use Control Z to turn that back into get age. Now you can do this with any formula that you want, and it works really well with a long, complicated formula which you know you're going to be using over and over again, but which might be difficult to remember. There is a limitation to this, so the formula can't be more than 254 characters. So if I add a space to the beginning of this, I can then do equals len and then find out the length of this formula here. So that tells me it is 123 characters long. So you can use this to check to see if a formula is short enough. Now this also works well if you have a formula that has just one or maybe two cell references. Editing the cell references doesn't really bother me that much but there is a workaround for this. So if I do equals row, open and close brackets, then I can get the row number for the current row. And I can do the same thing with column as well and get the column number. Then I can put both of these inside address. So I can put row in first and then column. And this gets me the cell reference for the cell that I'm currently in. But I don't actually want this cell reference. What I want is the cell reference for the cell right next to it. So I can edit this and take the column number and subtract 1. And then that gets me B7, which is the cell reference for this cell here. Now, instead of getting the cell reference, what I want is the actual value in this cell. So I will put indirect all of the way around this. And then that gets me the date in this cell here. Now I can copy all of this and go back up to the first formula and then paste it in to replace the cell reference. And I still get the same result here. So now I can click inside the formula bar and press Control A to select all, then Control C to copy, and then escape to get out of the bar. Then I'll go to File and Options, and Proofing, and Autocorrect Options. Then I'll type in Get Age. And in the with box, I'll delete all of this and use Control V to paste in the adjusted formula. Then I will replace this, and it throws me up a warning message saying that this already exists. I'll just say yes, and OK, and OK again. And now I can type in get age, and it will get me this formula again. 
And this time I don't need to change the cell reference because it's already looking in this cell. Of course, this only works if you know for sure that your formula is always going to be one column to the right of the column that has the value in it. Now, in addition to doing this for formulas, you can also do this for arrays. So I will type in here equals array to text and then select this array here. And I want the format to be one for strict and enter. And then I will copy this and right click and paste as values to get rid of the formula. Then in the formula bar, I'll delete the apostrophe at the beginning and replace it with an equals. And then when I hit enter, this will turn back into an array. So now I'll select all of this and copy it and press escape. Then go to file and options and proofing and autocorrect options. And then this time I'll type get grades and in the with box I will paste in the array that I just copied and add and then OK and OK again. And now when I type in get grades, it will turn into that array for me. So this works well if you have a small table that you know you're going to be using over and over again in lots of different spreadsheets. Now I have a couple of other examples to show you. So for the next example, I'll type get calendar and then enter. And that will get me a calendar for whatever the current month is. And this works really well because it doesn't have any cell references in it. So I don't have to edit it at all in order to get it to work. Then for the next example, I'll type unpivot and enter. And that gets me this formula here. And this time, instead of having a cell reference or an indirect formula, I just have a placeholder, which doesn't do anything other than remind me that I need to select a table. So now I have highlighted this, I will select the table. And now that that's become a cell reference, I can press enter and it will unpivot the table for me. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to use autocorrect to quickly get formulas in Excel. And that is everything.